Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about coding interviews. So let's get into it. So we, so the question in question was, Frederick, when an interview asks how you got into programming, what are they looking to evaluate? How you got into programming. They want to know your backstory. But I suspect that this is more one of those situations, how do I prepare myself to answer every question that a person could answer, uh, ask in the perfect way so that they will hire me. And this is where I'm going to make something, I'm going to tell you something that might feel counterintuitive and that is that guys, only phony idiots can't tell when somebody's being genuine. And if you try to prepare perfect statements like I don't know so a politician or something like that for every interview you're going to make you are going to come off as being ungenuine and the smart people that do like that do quality processes are going to see through it and it's actually better in many ways to just be honest about the thing and here's the kicker about being honest it only works if you have good reasons for what you're doing, if you have genuine, if if you're a genuine nice person and you actually care about what you do, that's the biggest trump card that I can give anybody. If you care about software development and you think it's cool and you think it's interesting and so forth, this is the best card that you can possibly play. If you're a soulless money hogger who just got into it because it seemed like an easy job, uh, this is not going to work for you. You're going to have to make some shit up because the gold standard of answers to this question is anything that reflects your personal passion for the field and the best part the worst part about that is that you can't steal that and what i mean by that is very simple if you try to say that you got into software development because you really think it's awesome and it's cool and so forth most like a reasonable person will be able to figure out if that's true or not and then they will look at what you do ask you the follow-up question which is okay how what do you do in your spare time like how do you uh, get like how do you manifest how does your passion for uh, software development manifest itself and then your answer is going to be because you're lying oh uh, i did a little like api application react thing and yeah sometimes i watch videos you're just oversold that you care about something you don't really care about and now then I go and check what you actually do in order to sort of I want to see how you back up the claim that you care you don't have anything you can't tell me about any passion projects you can't go off on a rant about how passionate you are about this project or this language or this tool or this article or this thing you have no fire you have no fire in your eyes and that is the biggest benefit anyone can have when it comes to software development interviews and things like that and that is the thing that they are looking for they are looking when they ask you this question they're basically it's just a control question check with this like where where is this um, this uh, candidate coming from like what is their background what is their motivation they just want to get your pulse a little bit and in that scenario it is really just better for you to be honest even if you said uh, say that you found it interesting and you're sort of doing it for you know you don't have to say that you do it for the money but what you're, what you're saying what i'm saying is that even a person who isn't super super passionate can still get the job it's just that you you have to trust that you can communicate to the person on the other side in a way where you display your strengths within this field if that makes sense because not every software company is just looking for super passionate uh, fire soul programmers most companies just want someone who seems to be a good culture fit and some companies are absolutely insane like they will only you know if you don't uh, but that's the problem as i said you cannot fake passion it cannot be done it's like faking experience and that's why it's better for you to just be transparent here and so for most companies you can just say that yeah I, st I took an education it seemed like a cool thing you don't have to oversell it and then just be transparent about how much you invest and then the only thing that you have to fall back on is the other two things that make up the trifecta of reasons as to why someone hires somebody in IT 
first one being passion, second one being skill, third one being salary expectations. These are the th main three research things that you have to offer a employer or like the, these are the areas that they will usually consider the most. There are other areas of course but these are the big ones when somebody is hiring a software a programmer of any kind so in order to sort of you know be safe and like stack your bet having all three that makes you a perfect candidate but you can still get a job with just having two and in some cases friend my friends i have been in interviews where we have identified that the person is incompetent very very bad uh, as like super super weak coding skills and has a pr pretty bad attitude but they were very cheap and unfortunately at that exact moment the manager in question needed the headcount and so they still got the job it's not the common it's not a great way to structure things and uh, like it's probably not an ideal case for anybody but it happened i was there so it i can promise you that it's probably happened more than a few times in other areas of the world as well so what I want you to take away from this is that when an interviewer asks you how you got into software development or anything like that, it's usually just because they want to get the conversation going because one of the big things that you want from an interview with the software can like a programming candidate is to figure out sort of what have they spent their time doing, like what type of person are you. And being transparent here is a pretty good bet because it's really difficult to fake being something that you're not. It's uh, honestly, in my opinion, the only t like the people who should work on mo everybody should have good communication skills. But for someone who is truly passionate, make sure that that shows. Because if you're too shy, you're actually missing out on one of the three benefits that people are looking for in a candidate. Because if you have all three, if you are passionate, you have skill and you are like the price is right and all of these sorts of things, right? Then that's all you sort of can do then you've done all the preparations and you are for every intent and purposes uh, a perfect candidate but at the same time I don't want you to think that you have to pretend like you care about software development to get a job you don't you just have to be able to convince people that you're going to be a benefit to the company and you can do that even if you're not like the person who goes to every single tech talk or like he does all this side coding and stuff like that but that is of course something that most companies wants to see in a candidate firing people you know the fire in the fire in the eyes uh, having passion and being driven it's a very infectious thing and most companies want that not just in software development I mean think about it yourself if you're gonna bring someone into a group or hire somebody even for your own company do you want them to be sort of this uh, I can take it or leave it type of person or do you want someone who really cares who really wants to do do well usually that is the sort of person that you're looking for but it's not always a deal breaker if someone's not that person have a great day